Hey, what's going on everybody? CDP here, otherwise known as Easy Pleaser. And uh, welcome to episode 5 of the CDP Talk Show. I am your host, CDP. Um, Going to be a little bit of a low-energy podcast today. Uh, just kind of, it's kind of early in the morning and um, drinking, you know, some soda. It's waking me the fuck up. And um, yeah, there's, there's going to be a little bit of a low-energy podcast just because... Um, some things that have been on my mind that I've been pondering for the past couple of days with, of course, the events that happened in uh, in Paris, which, of course, my heart goes out to everyone that has a family member or a friend that passed away or, was in, or you know, got hurt in that uh, tragic event. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in it because I don't want to feel like I'm... I don't want... Like, okay, I, I was kind of resent... I didn't want to... Um, make a video like I was gonna make a whole video like wow dude some fuck this shit that happened in Paris and I wanted to say a lot of positive things uh, in it as well but I don't want I don't want to really like profit like that you feel me I feel like I, I was like I'm profiting off a bunch of misfortune um so just to just to quickly move on from my heart goes out to everybody that has family and friends that lost someone in that uh disgusting action that a group of fucked up assholes decided to um do and fuck them um so yeah welcome to the podcast <laughs> um is my shitty way of trying to fix the whole mood but how's everybody doing a lot has been happening in the world uh and it's kind of sparked me to Think about a couple of things in my mind. Um, direction of my life, some goals and where I am at them and how I'm not happy with where I am and a lot of things in my life. And I feel like I used to, I feel like I'm, I just keep saying I'm going to do something, but I never fucking do it. And that pisses me off. Which is why I feel like kind of making a video and just talking how fuck that. Um, anyone watching this, fuck that. Like, I made a whole video, like, if you're just doing school, if you're just doing, if you just have a job, if you're just doing one fucking thing, go fucking do, go fuck, just, anyway, go watch that video. Uh, I'll link in the description. Fuck that. I gotta, I, I, I feel like I've been lazy with a lot of things in my life. Uh, I want, I was, before school started, and I think it probably, I don't want to blame school, but like, school ruins it, but. I was playing the guitar. I was learning some songs from Metallica. I was learning. I was learning Frantic. I was learning uh, the day that never comes. Like two other songs, I think Ride the Lightning. I was learning. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, and then I stopped because of school. I was reading a bunch of books before school started, and then I stopped because I was like, "Dude, I can't. I don't ever have time to just read because I have to read a bunch of other shit." Uh, and even with YouTube, even though I've got, like, don't get me wrong, right now when this video comes out, I'll be 21 when this podcast comes out. My birthday was, well, my birthday was on the 20th of November, and I'm, at the time when this comes out, 21, and that's fucking sweet, and I'm gonna make a whole little birthday video and shit for that day, but whatever. 21, gonna get drunk and, uh, regret a lot of things, and I don't know. Um... <laughs> I gotta stop just saying shit. And I finally clicked on me last night because I was listening to a bunch of old music that I used to listen to in high school. So I was listening to like Blackstone Cherry, Buck Cherry, fucking Three Days Grace, fucking. Oh my god, Trapped. Uh, god, I look at my list. I have like a whole, whole bunch of shit. Hold up. Because it's kind of relevant to what the fuck I was, uh. Gonna say, I was listening to Nine Inch Nails, The All American Rejects, Breaking Benjamin, fucking 303, fucking Coldplay as well. Which, if you want to judge, go ahead. I was listening to, I was listening to uh, Saving Abel, uh, a bunch of shit that was for me my high school music, and I was like, Yo, dude, this music's fucking sick. <laughs> now it could just be a whole nostalgia factor. I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, no, no, no. That 
I feel like it was good, so I think it is good. No, it just really was a kick-ass music. I was listening to like Nine Inch Nails, Closer, uh, Hand That Feeds You, uh, Buck Cherry's, uh, what the fuck's that song? Uh, 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 I'm Too Drunk to Fuck is, is a lyric that's in that song. Uh, Move Along by All American Rejects, Dirty Little Secret. Um, Adam Y.V. Con, Three Days Grace was great. I was pumped as fuck last night, but I was like, you know what? I need to sleep because <laughs> you know school's coming. Like I'm, I'm recording this podcast on a Monday, and I have school on Mondays and Wednesdays, so it's like, oh shit. Uh, so back to the main point. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like I've been lazy, and I don't like being fucking lazy. I hate just lying around not doing anything, dude. Like. Playing video games is cool, don't get me wrong. And like, if I'm gonna play a video game, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing a bunch of shit and like progressing in that shit. But it's like, how come I can't have that mindset? Or how come people just, I, cause I noticed this as well with uh, individuals in my life. How come you can't just do that sh- kind of mindset on your on your own life? Like, nah dude, I gotta go fucking work out. I lose this amount of days. Gotta do this shit every fucking time without I feel like it or not. Gotta go, I do a bu-. Like, I feel like people that play a lot of video games are heavy into it. And like, Try to complete it as much as they can. Try to get that fucking platinum trophy on PlayStation or just all the thousand gamer score or a thousand achievement points or whatever the fuck on Xbox. Um, and if you're on Steam, you don't care about achievements um, unless you do, which, um, cool. How come we did for our own lives? The amount of possibilities an individual has in this world is fucking unlimited. You could do whatever the fuck you want in your life. It could be as simple as just reading a book that you've always wanted to. It could be as simple as just, I don't know, walking to another fucking city. It could be as simple as learning a new song on the guitar or picking up a new instrument and learning it. But yeah, we don't. Well, some of us get lazy. There are people that work a lot that... Or, no, fuck that. They just work like an eight-hour shift or whatever, and then they, they look forward to coming home and doing nothing. Why? Shit, even when I was a game star, I'd be like, as soon as I come home, i will record a bunch of shit. Or, I'm going to record a bunch of shit and then go to work. Like, I'm, like I, 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 like, you got to stay on the grunt. And I feel I've gotten a little bit lazy with it, even though I've recorded like a bunch of shit last week. Like, there's already two players that I fucking finished, folks, but... Right now, Smart Numbers is Raw is still going on. And actually, this week, Time Splitters finishes. Yeah, Time Splitters finished, I think, on Wednesday is when it finished. So, hey. Um, yeah, so it's like, uh, dude, <laughs> come on. The amount of possibilities that you have to do anything you want in your life is fucking unlimited. You can do whatever the fuck you want in this life that you're in whether you're 19 18 or whether you're fucking 30 you could do a bunch of shit in your life life isn't over when you're 30 like i hate that people say once you're 30 whatever you're doing that's all you're doing for the rest of your fucking life nah not really not at all there are people that i know that that have gone back to school got a new degree so they can go do a whole new kind of career and i feel like for people that are in school or have been thinking about going back to school or whatever go to school I used to hate school and I used to think you don't need to do anything. Maybe not your dreams or maybe it is your dreams. Who the fuck knows? We're all different individuals. We're all different human beings. We have our own um, goals in life that we want to accomplish. And we have different burning passion in our heart for different things in our world. Whether you are a gamer, a musician, someone who writes... Uh, books or wants to become a writer. Uh, someone wants to do YouTube videos. Mwah. Just fucking do it. <laughs> it it's, it's, uh, it's not a hard thing to, to really figure out, in my opinion. Go fucking do the things that you want to do. Like, it's just sad when I see someone who has a lot of potential, uh, whether it be a, as a rapper or a fucking musician or a fucking YouTuber, or a fucking uh, or a professional uh, 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 powerlifter or whatever the fuck in fitness. If you want to be a fucking professor in your life or whatever the fuck you want to do with your life. I hate when people don't, don't do it because they want to play it safe and then they want to just do that because it was safe. Well, your safe job could one day fire you and then now you're 50 years old and you can't really go do another 
uh, career job like that because it's like, well, what the fuck? You're already too old and shit, and now you're fucked. And now it's like, oh, well, shit. We're all going to die one day. Understand that. Don't look at it as, a, as oh, I need to fucking, I need to do everything, which is what my mindset used to be. No, understand, hey, man, take your time. You might as well do the things that you've always wanted to do because, yeah, you might just die and no one ever, at the end of the day, we're all just bones. That's really it. This hunk of meat that we're in, our soft tissue and shit, we're, that's all it is, just a lot of meat, <laughs> really. Um, with a brain and fucking energy in our body. That like when we die, it gets used to go back to the world and you know, the cycle continues. Um, I've also, by the way, all these things have just been on my mind the past few days. Um, and as you guys know, whenever I have something that's been really in my fucking mind, and I've been really fucking pondering about it and just thinking about like, fuck, dude, da 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 I always make a video, <laughs> whether it's a commentary, whether it's a podcast, I always make a video. Um, and speaking of which, hey, episode four went up last week or whenever this comes out a week ago or two weeks ago, whatever. Uh, and my guest was Ian Tijin, my professor, psychology teacher. Uh, and if any of you have not watched it, check it out. Uh, it was great. Talked to a fucking psychology teacher. Someone who didn't fucking, well, someone who I didn't know from the fucking internet. Someone I actually know was here and we talked about a lot a lot of shit psychology fucking video games anime culture fucking people that are insane and they want to go and fucking shoot people and bunch of shit you should really check it out um in my opinion or if not fuck it whatever do whatever you want to do i'm not here to force you to do um anything fucking subliminal message sell your soul and shit come on and again or not again. And uh, actually, thank you to everyone that actually has checked out that episode. Um, as always, I always appreciate any fucking view that I get. Whether it's one, whether it's ten, whether it's twenty. By the time this video comes out, we've just passed uh, on this channel 40,000 total views. And I'm like, yes! Because like, when I got to 200 subscribers, and now I'm at 211 at the time of the recording. Um... I was like, wow, dude, fucking 200 subs. And, you know, I understand that for people that have 500, 1,000, 10,000, or whatever, that's like a small number. I understand it's a huge fucking milestone to me. And when I get to 250, I'm going to be even more excited. And then with 500, and et cetera, and et cetera. Um, I noticed that he will really like the wrestling stuff, like... I want to just make this clear. This is not a wrestling channel. This is just my channel. And I just happen to do fucking playthroughs and, you know, this podcast. And, um, like, I noticed, like, I had Day of Reckoning, SmackDown vs. Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, Def Jam Fight for New York, Def Jam Vendetta, soon Def Jam Icon. I'm going to do, like, a bunch of other wrestling games as well. Um, because I'm finishing off the, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw series. Understand that I'm not a wrestling channel. <laughs> if you want to see wrestling stuff, go check out Live the Vita or Heal Vita or Long Live the Vita. Whatever your fucking name is now, bro. Go check out his channel. Link in the description. He has a bunch of wrestling shit and he's a he does his shit pretty fucking cool. Go check him out. He knows his shit. If that's what you want, go over there. I like of course watch my shit too, you know. Don't leave me in the dust. But it's like I'm not a wrestling channel. Heck, I, one time I was in a quick play dudes, remember that? And I eventually will, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm doing, one of the reasons why I'm doing a bunch of play right now is because these are games that I've always wanted to do. Or, hey, can you possibly do this? Oh, yeah, sure, you know, if I'm interested, I'll do it. But that's about it. Once that's done and I have nothing else that I want to, like, play, that's it. I'm going to go fucking, I'm going to make up, I'm not saying I quit YouTube. This podcast will still be living strong. I'm going to make this a weekly thing now. All right, because fuck that. Like, I want to make this shit. The main thing I'm focusing on is the podcast and a bunch of other videos that I actually want to say, hey, I made a video that isn't just a fucking playthrough. Because playthroughs are cool and all, don't get me wrong. And like, I do watch people that are uh, playthroughers, let's players, I guess. Uh, forgot his name, Grolov. Uh, ah, shit. He's doing like a Fallout 4 playthrough right now, but I'm not watching that because 
for my birthday, my sister's getting me Fallout 4. And I'm like, yo! Uh, and then I have, like, Black Ops 3 coming in soon as well. Um, my mom got me some gifts on Amazon. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm set for a little bit. I don't need to fucking buy any other games and shit. Like, right now I'm playing Metal Gear again, and I'm happy. I'm finally bored of NBA 2K16. Fuck 2K! But, like, I bought that game secondhand, and I was enjoying it. I'm like, that's cool. Now I'm like, nah, fuck that game. I'm playing Metal Gear. And then, when it comes, Call of Duty. And then, Fallout for the next six months. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, back to the main point. When I'm done with playthroughs, uh, I'm not done with YouTube. I'm going to make a bunch of other shit. I feel that's when I'm going to really show you guys what your what your boy can do. <laughs> uh, whether it be commentaries, whether it be reviews, whether it be a bunch of other shit. It's shit that I've always been interested in doing. And I've, like I said, if you want to do something, just fucking do it. And I'm going to fucking do it. Um, so, it is what it is, folks. Enjoy the playthroughs while they last. If you're here just for playthroughs and, like, you hate the podcast or you hate whatever I get in front of a camera, which, from what I've seen, no one does, so that's cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. I forgot what was my whole point, but I think that was really it. So, yeah. Might as well move on. I'm 21, or by the time this video comes out, I'm going to be 21. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm super fucking happy. November 20 is my birthday. Uh, and I'm going to be 21. And I'm going to have a whole video on my birthday. Of, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it. But no, I'm not going to spoil it because it will be out by, this comes, by the time this comes out. Um, I'm going to make a video of me getting my first beer uh, at my corner liquor store that I've always wanted to do since I was 18. I wanted to make a video... Go to my liquor store, buy a fucking beer, probably a fucking, uh, uh, what am I in the mood for? A Dos Equis maybe? I don't know. Go do that and be like, here's a beer, drink it, be like, cool. And then that's it. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Um, and if that's what I did, that's what I did. Um, and yeah, 21. I, You know, it's weird. When I was a kid. I used to think people that were in the 20s were like adults. Like, oh, they got everything figured out. They're they're cool guys. They're cool gals. They know what the fuck they want to do and shit. Someone who is 20 is now, when this comes out, 21. I don't feel it. <laughs> like, I feel like I've always been to have the, the kid in me, I guess, is what I want to say. Um, and you know, it's weird. I've been reading a lot of... Um, I've been rereading a little bit of things. Uh, the Empty Boat, which is a book I think I've talked about on this podcast before. If not, I'm sorry. It's a great fucking book by Osho. Uh, a friend recommended it to me, and I'm like... A very influential friend recommended me that book. And then, like, he just recently posted on Facebook, like, yeah, here's all the books I've read, or I read. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pick a bunch of those books, and I'm going to buy them, I'm going to read them. Because, like... This tattoo, this peace tattoo, isn't a resemblance of just the worldwide peace or whatever. This is a resemblance of my summer in 2015 when my friends, shout out Kevin Hope and my buddy Joshua, uh, and other friends, Adrian, Vidal, Johnny, shout out to all of you fellas. Um, this represents everything that I learned and really have adapted in my mind this past summer. And even now, like, School really kind of took away some of the spiritual stuff that I learned and was taught from them. But I've recently got it a little bit back. Uh, I'm reading a bunch of stuff by Robert Antoine Wilson, uh, Terrence McKenna. Uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna want to read a couple stuff from Neil deGrasse Tyson. A uh, bunch of shit. And a couple of things I've understood now. And I've had to recently deal with. Culture is fucking terrifying. And a few days ago, or when this comes out, a week ago, I was going crazy. <laughs> I um was scared of everything that I've been noticing. And one day I will talk to you guys fully about everything I have learned. Um, it's just my thoughts aren't really organized. I can really break it down through you without sounding like a fucking maniac. Um, everything I've really... Now I've come to realize. Fuck culture. I don't want to be a part of that. 
Or Trisha, I want to be a part of selective ones, like the YouTube world and the internet. I'll do that. I don't want to be a part of the main world that we live in where, you know, I'm not even going to mention because I don't want it on my podcast. Um, I was, I deleted my Facebook because I was, I realized how much people can become programmed easily and how much people just put out a lot of personal shit on there and how much, you know what? Okay, I'm going to say some shit right now. I can get real. If you're trying to do something with your life, if you're trying to change the way you think and you're trying to surround yourself with people that aren't the things you're trying to avoid or are the things that, that you're trying to avoid, cut them the fuck out of your lives. I'm not saying fuck them because everyone has their own beliefs and they're not all going to understand what have you come to realize and why you're like, no, 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 fuck, I'm not doing that or whatever. And people have their own beliefs. I can acknowledge that. I don't respect it, but I acknowledge that. Cut people out that aren't helping you in what you're trying to do. And also understand, hey, man, if you got a bunch of friends or say you only have five deep, deep, deep core friends, you don't always have to hang out with them. Like, I'm now not trying to hang out with my friends that much because understand that, and this is really just directed to people that are close to me, if I'm not hanging out with you or if I keep saying no to hanging out with you, it's not anything against you. I just figured out I need to do some shit that I need to fucking do. I want to read a bunch of books because I want to fucking read because it helps my fucking brain involve in progressing what the fuck I'm trying to be about. I'm trying to edit out a couple of videos. I got some shit I want to fucking do. And I don't want to say fuck you because that's not what it is. It's not me saying I don't want to hang out with you. I'm trying to dodge you. That's why I'm not hanging out on you shit. It's just, hey man, I need, to, I need to do my own shit because I'm fucking hungry and I want to eat. <laughs> I have so much in my world and in my head that I'm like, I want to fucking accomplish all of this. So if I don't hang out with you, don't take any offense to it. It's just that, hey man, I got to do some of my own shit. And you know, uh, and I want people to understand that when I say this shit, use it in your own world as well. Because, hey man, sometimes you need to cut everything out of your lives so you can get the shit you need to get done, done. Like school, I've had multiple times where I'm just like, ah, I want to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be here. This fucking sucks. But I got to do it because, hey, man, what the fuck else am I going to be doing? No, that's not the reason. Uh, I got my own personal reasons. Uh, I want to show my mom. And I've spoken about this before, I think. Uh, I think like in the first episode of the podcast. My mom, I want to make her proud because she saw me walk the stage and, and graduate with one credit over the minimum that I needed in high school. And she was so fucking happy because, she, and my sister told me the other day, she was like, dude, mom was so happy for you. And I was like, what do you mean? Well, yeah, you graduated and it's cool, but it's like the struggle that you had to go through for a year and a half straight of going to night school every fucking day except Fridays. And like basically your whole day was just school. She was like... She was going to go and trash her to a public school that was terrible and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, I didn't know that. Holy shit. And then I hugged my mom and kissed her. And I was like, I love you. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I want to show her, hey, your boy got a degree. Because I know you've always wanted to see him have a degree. Because you feel like, hey, he, he'll be set now. Even though that's not, you know, the primary goal for me at least. It's something I want to do in my bucket list. I want to say, hey, you remember this guy? The guy that almost fucking left his high school to go join a school that he knew like nobody yet and hadn't really not met many friends, like three or four, to just get an easy uh, pass. I went through some shit in order to do it. I gave up a lot of shit. I sold my 360 and the PS3 that I had at that time because I was like, I want no fucking distractions. To some of you, that might be extreme. And at the time when I was uh, at that age, I thought, yeah, that is pretty extreme that I did that. Looking back, I'm so happy I did. Because I don't think I would be here with a degree or did it and walked the stage with everybody else in my fucking class here. If I didn't go through that. And... I feel everyone needs to go through some shit in their lives. You need to have obstacles in your life. Hey, man, if you can do a whole mile in like a minute on a track, I will give you a million dollars. 
some of you, probably a lot of you would be like, oh yeah, let's fucking do it. But not a lot of you will do it because you'll just be like, oh, well, whatever, dude, I'm not even tripping. But if there was a dog chasing you and your house was a mile away and you had to like really fucking run, you would be sprinting your ass and you would have gotten your house so fucking quick to escape that dog. Because here's how I see it. The dog is, I guess, in this situation, life. And it's trying to bite you in the ass constantly because, hey, it's just the nature of life. If you're a weak-minded individual, if you're not strong-minded, and you can't have that willpower to do the shit that you need to do and accomplish everything, you're going to get eaten up by life, and you're going to be destroyed, and you're gone. That's it. You're fucked. Nothing else is going to happen with you. You're going to stay forever weak. You're going to forever stay neutral, and you're never going to get the fuck out of there. You're never going to awaken and grow. But if you survive... All right, yeah, okay, you, you got some shit. You understand some shit. Like, I never understood, mentioned this in the last episode of the podcast, people's love with their pets, or I don't even want to call them pets, uh, with, the, with the animals that they have and live with. Until my bird, Canary, passed away, Theodore, uh, that I've had for like more than five years. I think like seven years. Some heavy shit. I took care of him all morning. I was trying to keep him warm, put up like my shirt on, because I thought because it's cold right now in California, like really fucking cold. And I know for some of you that live in the Midwest, whatever, nah, dude, we have snow. Fuck you, fuck you, okay? He was cold as fuck. Uh, and taking care of him all morning, and then around 1 p.m., he flew up a little bit, and then he fell on his back, and then he died. And I completely broke down. Because all morning I was like, I'm not going to let you fucking die. Fuck that. And then he died. And, I, I, and I've never really had to experience death before like that. Like, I, I, don't, I haven't, I, my dad, biological father, died like two, three months after I was born. I only have a few photos of him. And then, like, one photo with him, with me, holding me. That's it. Now to get too real. So I never really knew how, how it was to, to really have a dad. I would just see kids, you know, experience all that shit. And I'm not going to try to fucking cry and shit, but uh, it was tough. But, I, but I, never, I don't know the pain of having someone and then losing them. I can only imagine how that feels. Heck, my, my my dad's biological father's mom passed away like last year before Christmas or after Christmas. Um, crazy shit. I'm like the last of my line. Fuck. And, uh, yeah. Back to uh, what I was trying to say. I get it now. People's love for their for their animals that they live with, for their cats, for their dogs, whatever the fuck it is. I get it. You fucking love that animal. You love that being. Uh, I get it now. <laughs> My girlfriend has like a bunch of dogs and cats that she has and a bunch of birds. And I never really understood. How come you love all these dogs? How come you like are always about them? And now I get it. So. My point though. You gotta go through some shit in your life in order to really be able to adapt and be able to show I'm strong-willed and I can fucking continue on and I'm gonna keep fucking pushing because I've learned to be able to keep pushing. I've learned to adapt to situations. So the next time you are going through some shit and you feel like shit and you're and you just want to break down. Understand you're still fucking here on this planet. You're still going around strong. You got a bunch of arrows that have been shot in your back and you keep walking. Keep going. Because it sucks sometimes in life. But don't let fear absorb your heart and control you. You got to look at the beautiful things in the world. Because the world's beautiful, you're fortunate to be alive and have food, live under a household, have clothes on your back. And a lot of other people don't, all right? 
Stop bitching. <laughs> and go do the things you gotta fucking do. I've been your host, CDP. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go do the things I need to do. Peace.